I made this little fish, and today I'm going to use it to talk about resin's dirty little secret, and if you're casting, some other stuff you need to know. I made the model in a CAD program called Rhino, and this was long before the days when we had desktop resin printers that we could use ourselves. So I sent the CAD model off to a service bureau in China because it was inexpensive. The top image is a rendering. On the bottom is the actual parts I got back from China. I always paint my sculptures, usually with artist's acrylic, but in this case I didn't do it. Each one of the parts, all ten pieces, was cast in a different color. And I want you to notice particularly the eye color. When I cast this piece, that eye was pure white. And what that demonstrates clearly and uh, <laughs> inescapably, that uh, resin has a dirty little secret. And I pretty much don't care if you're talking about urethane resins, uh, epoxy resins, you name it. Resins, over time, will yellow. This piece I cast about 10 years ago, and it's been hanging on a wall in my house. No direct sunlight hitting it, but in that time, the resins yellowed that much. And that is why I always paint my pieces with artist acrylic. So this is what the piece looks like now, but this is a lot closer to what it looked like when I first cast it. The colors were much brighter and much cleaner and had a lot less yellow. So it went from this to that, from this to that. But I want you to notice something else that's happening. It's not just the resin that's turning yellow. The dyes are also fugitive, and that means that they're fading. And the bad part is different dye colors fade at different rates. Some hardly fade at all. Some fade a lot. So the solution is that I don't rely on resin pigments and dyes for my projects. I always paint them with artist's acrylics. And here is why. I painted these prototypes 25 years ago, and they look exactly the same as they did when they were first painted. The colors are just as rich and just as strong, and there's no evidence of fading. And let me show you something else. Here are the resin masters. As you can see, they are a distinct yellow color, and I can tell you that they were eggshell white when they were cast. Just a creamy, clear white. And to make the point even more loudly, I made this painting exactly 50 years ago this fall. <laughs> and the colors have not faded at all. The painting's just as bright and clean as it was the day I painted it. Why did I paint trout? Because I was a little Huckleberry Bob. I love fishing. And uh, so that's what I wanted to paint. Anyway, you get the point. Don't rely on pigments and dyes in your resin to make projects that you want to keep for a long time. I use dyes all the time here on the channel, but that's because white castings are hard to see on camera, so I put in the dye to make them easier for you to see. If you like this video, watch this video next. If you got value out of the video and you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon button down below in the description. There's also a Super Thanks button. You can use that for a one-time contribution. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.